Hello everyone, welcome to Luft Games channel. Despite the name of the game Farming Simulator has the word simulator, sometimes we still lack some realism. In this video we will talk about ground, dirt and possibility. I will start with the best part, added realism for vehicles. Have you noticed how the different types of wheels in Farming Simulator affect possibility? Even if there are difference, it's so small that you don't notice it all. And such a variety of wheels and tracks in the game actually makes no sense. Of course, we need to put narrow wheels on the tractor or equipment, so as not to crush the crop, but it's not necessary at all stage of growth. In other cases, the installation of different wheels on the vehicle plays only an aesthetic role. We can use any type of wheels on any ground. If you don't like this situation, then you will like this mod. When you install this mod, you will see two green icons on the bottom. The turbine icon is a percentage of power usage. The wheel icon is a percentage of wheel spin or slippage. I don't know how to say it exactly. The idea is simple. More wheel load, small tires and soft ground means more force needed for pulling or pushing. Let's take an average tractor with a trailer. On asphalt it's drive fine. On the ground there is a slippage when it's starting. After gaining speed the slippage decreases. What on the field? On the field that has just been harvested the trackers have some slippage, but it's running fine. On a cultivated field the slippage at the start is 40%, then 20%. On a plowed field slippage at the start is 50%, then 30%. Of course, those figures are for this exact tracker with uh, these exact wheels and with this exact weight. If you change something, the behavior will be different. The slippage increase when turning. Wheels can go into the ground. To get out, you have to detach the trailer, drive forward a little bit, then attach the trailer again. It works by the situation. Now let's see how different types of wheels affect possibility. Here are the three identical tractors with the trailers full of sugar beet. The engines are the same, but the wheels are different. One tractor with dual wheels, one with standard wheels, and one with narrow wheels. I hope you understand that I'm doing this for clarity. Even in vanilla game such tractors pull such a weight with difficulty. We will try it on plug it land. The tractor with the twin wheels has a little trouble, but drives fine. The tractor with standard wheels at the start frisky, but as soon as the trailer enters the field, immediately slow down. You can already see the difference here. You don't want to drive across the field with such a load. Tractor is slow, but it still drives. Let's start the tractor with narrow wheels. It seems to drive in the field, but as soon as trailer enters the field, that's it. No chance. And to illustrate, here is the same tractor with the same weight on the same field in the vanilla game. Of course, the weak tractor with heavy loads gets stuck. What about more powerful ones? Here is the same tractor with a plow. One with triple wheels and one with the standard wheels. So we still feel the difference. When it rains, the driving is even more difficult. The description says this mod supports only four standard tire types. Mud, streets, off-road and crawlers. The mod tires, I think, it's uh, which uh, used harvesters and tractors. That means that uh, harvester feel fine on the field. But if you try to drive a tract with a grain trailer and street trials in the field, even empty, it will move hard. And fill it up with the wheat, it will just get stuck on the ground. Let's try man truck. I think that it has off-road tires. It doesn't look like street tires. When it's empty, it drives through the field. And when it's full, it doesn't. This means when you're playing with this mod, a truck have nothing to do on the field. And finally, it makes sense to use an Augur wagon. In vanilla games, it's actually not needed. 
yes, you can still use a tractor with a regular trailer, but the same tractor will pull the auger wagon a little faster than simple trailer with the same crop volume. A little off topic. When you harvest sugar beet this way, uh, logically you should uh, put narrow wheels, because the picker moves behind the tractor. However, with this mod there are certain difficulties, especially if you move up the field. This is where you can say hello to the game mechanics. Yes, the white wheels crush the crops, but they only crush the sugar beets if there is a halm on them. If the halm is removed, then wheels do not harm the beets. In this case you can use whatever wheels you want, but you still have to be careful when turning. The same apples to potatoes. If you remove the helm, you can use any wheels. The situation is strange. If you use a sway, it's like turning off the plane destruction and the seating. Edit realism is interesting mod, make you think what wheels to use, change wheels when you need it. Of course, this mod is not perfect, there are problems when using a sugar beet harvester or potato harvester, but still, you should try this mod. Next mod, real dirt color. The equipment in the game get dirty, we can see that, sometimes we wash it. But everything always gets dirty in the same way. This mod makes the vehicles get dirty in the textures it is driving on. Uh, ok, this is not good explanation. The lime field show it best. Tractor rides on lime, get covered in lime. Driving on manure, it gets covered in manure. In the seasons in winter, it's covered in snow. It's a small mod and it's only visual, but it also adds realism to the game. The next mod is Dynamic Dirt. It's also only a visual mod, appears only when it rains. If the map have any pits, depressions, they appear as puddles. Well, that's all. No splashing when you drive over them. When the rain ends, the puddles disappear. The next mod – Enhanced Vehicle. The mods adds the uh, condition of the vehicles and tools a lot more, but I added this mod to the list because it has the ability to control all wheels drive and differential. Well, we are talking about dirt and possibility. To see how it's work, we use a tractor with our wheels. We see that one rear wheel spinning and one front wheel spinning. We disable four wheels drive, we see that only one rear wheel is spinning. Lock differential, both rear wheels are spinning. Turn on all wheels drive, block the front differential, all wheels are spinning. In my opinion, in vanilla games does not need all wheels drive and differential lock function, but with a mod added reason for vehicles, you can use that would slightly increase the tractor's possibility. By the way, locking of differential has no effect on driving asphalt. Real ground, made on basis of added rays for vehicles. They after also added indicators from the enhanced vehicle, but without the differential lock and all wheels drive. Also put their dynamic dirts. In the mod description said that uh, was corrected a few bugs of added rays for vehicles, I will tell you about the obvious changes. First of all, engine braking has been removed. If you accelerate the vehicle, and then you will not press the acceleration key, the vehicle will not stop. Braking become harder, and you can feel the weight of the vehicle. Also on downhill, the vehicle will create speed and engine RPM. Since using street tires on the field is undesirable, the author of the mod decided to compensate for this. Therefore, street tires increase the maximum speed of vehicles. Here's a man truck with the off-road wheels, the maximum speed is 80 km per hour. The same man trucks with street tires, 100 km per hour. But the most important difference from editor is for vehicles. Reduced influence of wheel selection and possibility. Trucks with street tires are easy to drive on the field. Tractor with narrow tires and large loads don't get stuck. Wheels choice still affect possibility a little, but it no longer makes sense to change wheels. Next mod – Dirty Tire Tracks. With this mod vehicles will leave clear tracks. The tracks copy the freed pattern. 
However, tracks are not textures. In fact, the wheels turn into a plow. They green up the ground. They destroy crops and grass. And the grass no longer grows after that. These tracks can be used to grow something. In the latest version of this mod was added uh, the ability to customize the tracks, but the mod is still dangerous for the map. Real mud. Works when it's raining. The field turns into mud. Possibility is reduced. Wheels sink into the ground. There is animation of mud splashing. But there is no difference in what types of field to drive and what wheels to use. A truck with the street wheels drive on the field. A sugar beet harvester does not. Working on the field is difficult, but possible, if you have a lot extra power. As soon as it stops raining, the ground dries out and all the effects of the mod disappear. The creator of the mod gave us the tool to make area with mud anywhere. Not, well, not anywhere, only on our land and not on the roads. At the store we buy a dirty fuel station. We load the trailer. Yeah, dirt is a little bit expensive. Pour out where we want to make mud. Then we need to buy a special cistern. Fill it with water. Pour the dirt with water. That's it. The mud is ready. You can clean it up with a bucket. The after also give us the console command. The description says that you need to install the category adder, but uh, it's not necessary. It just put tanks in the store in separate category. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And goodbye everyone.